Hello, this is Mystery of Cheese. And I'm Zombie Cat. And this is our review of the NECA San Diego Comic Con 2017 exclusive 8 pack of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> you can't see it all. <laughs> there we go. You still can't see it all. You can at least see them. There we go. And it is a huge box because there are 8 figures in there. This is going to be a two part review of this because there's 8 figures and it's going to be a lot. To go over so this is mostly going to be an unboxing video we're going to take them out of the package and get a quick look at them and then we'll have a separate review where we go over each figure but i don't know if that's the best way to do it because we usually don't review eight figures at once so yeah either way the going over part's probably going to be long <laughs> yeah <laughs> this box is awesome that's one of the coolest action figure boxes i've ever seen it's got these like metal little latches on there and uh, it's completely coated in, in like clear plastic. It kind of reminds me of like a Trapper Keeper, the way they did it. Or like one of those art sets. Yeah. <laughs> got like little metal rivets on there. They got some art. It's by one of the uh, original RG Comics Ninja Turtles artists. And I was kind of confused at first because Ninja Turtles are in New York City and they got palm trees on here. And, but I think it's because this is San Diego Comic Con exclusive. They made. They made it like they're at the San Diego Comic Con or something. Because it looks like it's probably some kind of convention center back there or something. So I'm guessing that's, that's what's going on. Because Foot Clan running there, Foot Soldiers. Shredder and Krang on the back running. <laughs> <laughs> it looks pretty awesome. And then when you look at the top, it's got a picture of the Ninja Turtles' faces. And then I don't know what's on the bottom. Uh, just black <laughs> information but yep, there's these little snaps here you pop them open and it opens like that nice red in here and the then, box is very 90s yeah i like it <laughs> it is and there's two layers you got the ninja turtles on the top layer with an ass load of accessories and then on the second layer you got whoa you got Shredder, Krang, and two foot soldiers. With another ass load of accessories. <laughs> yeah. We'll get this plastic off so you can see how they're all in there. So there they are when you get the plastic off of them. You can see they come with a lot of stuff. Each character comes with multiple accessories. Different hands and weapons. Other little accessories like communicators. And a pizza! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, has got a swinging nunchuck effect going on there. Then over with the bad guys, Shredder comes with a sword, a gun, Krang's got his little two-legged walkie thing, just looks like there's a mutagen or something up there. The uh, foot soldiers come with multiple weapons and hands, so we gotta get them off and... Get them out? Yeah, <laughs> we gotta get them off. <laughs> I'm not getting them off. <laughs> so there they are opened up and you can see they have a ton of accessories. I am so excited. <laughs> <laughs> You've already seen that they had a ton of accessories, but... The better view of them with the white background. <laughs> yeah. So much stuff. And I think, probably for both of us, the one gripe that we both have, right off the bat, it's not we want to complain, because it said it's awesome, but it's just... Michelangelo should have had a smiling face. Or at least an alternate head had a smiling face. Yeah, and like, even on the box, they have a picture of the four faces on top, and he's smiling. Why isn't he smiling? He's the goofy one. <laughs> he should have a smiling face. <laughs> but that's a small gripe, I guess. That's, I mean, yeah. that's probably the biggest gripe that either of us have, I'd say. But he's still really fucking awesome. Yeah, they all are pretty cool. So, i uh, say we'll probably go over the figures real quickly and look at their accessories. And then the second video... Then we'll actually go over the figures a little more in depth. Creep. <laughs> so to give you an idea of the scale of these figures, or the size of them, there they are next to a Marvel Legends 6 inch Cyclops figure, and the NECA's 7 inch Terminator figure. So here is the NECA Leonardo next to the Playmates Leonardo. This is one of the Ninja Turtle classic figures that came out several years ago. And when I heard that NECA was making these, I assumed because they make 7-inch figures that these would be bigger. But they're actually smaller. I mean, the Ninja Turtles are short. 
I guess, a little bit, but it seems like they're shorter than I expected. So yeah, Shredder is much taller than a turtle, and I think that's right. And once again, here is the seven inch scale Terminator figure by NECA. So I'm thinking these are six inch scale. So NECA usually makes seven inch, but it seems like these figures are six inch based on the size of the Shredder next to the Terminator figure. I don't really care though. Me neither. It doesn't matter. It's not like I'm going to have them fight the Terminator. It's just I want them to be in scale with each other. Okay, let's start off with the turtles, I guess. So here's Leonardo. We're going over him first. And of course he comes with his two katanas, which don't really look like real katanas, but they're cartoony katanas. And that looks pretty awesome. And they can fit into the little sheaths back here. Well, I'm assuming. We haven't tried it yet. Yeah, there they go. So that's cool. Yeah, one thing we noticed just now is that they kind of did a shading thing where the fronts of them are lighter. And then on the back, you can see like the blue turns into a darker blue. And then the green skin turns into a darker green skin. And it's kind of weird. A little bit. Uh... Like you're saying, the skin doesn't bother me as much. I would kind of like the the headband stuff to be one color, but whatever. Uh, he also comes with two alternate hands, which I guess are sort of pimp slapping hands. Yeah, or karate <laughs> chop, or maybe he's going to be like maybe he's doing like a ninja pose or something. <laughs> so that's cool. So there he is with both swords and his sheaths. This looks really cool. Yeah, and you can get them up so you can see the handles from the front like you usually do. Yeah. So here's Donatello. He looks pretty cool. We did notice that his eyes almost look a little wonky. And I can see that this brow is down a little bit. So that might be why, but I don't know. This look a little. <laughs> he still looks cross-eyed. Yeah, he does. He <laughs> looks a little cross-eyed. <laughs> I'm Donatello. <laughs> <laughs> But he comes with his bow, or staff, or whatever. Stick. Yeah. <laughs> when I was a kid, like, that, I, like, I have a horrible memory, so don't ask me shit about the show. <laughs> but this was my show when I was a kid. And I never liked Donatello, because I thought he was lame, because he has a fucking stick. <laughs> <laughs> and he was a nerd in the bad way. And he's... I like his stick, though. It's they did a good job on it. The wrapping looks good. And it's well made, but it's a stick. <laughs> a stick could be deadly. <laughs> but yeah, same thing. They got the it's lighter up front, dark in the back. There's a little spot to stick a stick. Yeah. So you can put the stick back in there. But that's pretty cool. Now one thing that's weird is he comes with alternate hands, but they're not a whole lot different than the hands he's already got on. I think they're just made for specifically holding something else, but I'm not sure what. Maybe the communicators, I don't know. I'm a little confused by this because uh, Raphael came with side holding hands with Which the finger out, but the hands that were beside Donatello really look like they should be holding the size as well. They're perfectly fit for them. So, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. And there's Raphael. He comes with hands like this that can hold the size, or like this, which I'm not sure if he got them in there right, because I would have thought this part was should have been underneath this finger too, but... It doesn't fit that way. No, it just... That's as close as we can get. It doesn't look quite right. I mean, I think he's... These are meant for some of the five fingers to hold them, but he only got three, so... <laughs> Freak! I guess the size just kind of stick in back there. Put him in the front. Did he? Maybe he did. I can't remember. I mean, I don't think they go there on this one. I think they're supposed to go in the back. Yeah, it seems but I like I thought the they back. were usually in the front. I could be wrong. Well, they fit in the back pretty good, so this is where they're going. And here's Michelangelo. And he comes with real chains on his nunchucks, which is cool. You may go woo 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 woo. He also comes with alternate hands, which look like Kind of like, I guess your thumbs up hands. Mm hmm. <laughs> which is awesome. <laughs> stick them on in a minute. He also comes with this, which is supposed to make it look like the nunchuck is spinning. 
So I'll stick that on and see how that looks. So there he is, swinging his nunchuck super fast. Uh, I guess it's all right. It's it's cool that they included it, but it just kind of looks like a pinwheel. And you could also spin this to make it look like he's swinging them. <laughs> that looks cool. Yeah, I guess that's what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to... I'm supposed to have it going. There we go. Ah, yeah, it actually does that look... looks way better. Yeah. <laughs> that actually looks cool. <laughs> I did not realize they spun. <laughs> that spins really good. Mm -hmm. Um, also, he's got the, just like the others, he has the light colors in the front, dark colors in the back. And I kind of wish this dark orange was the orange of his, all of it, because it just looks better. Yeah, the, the orange in the front is almost kind of yellow, and it's just... I don't know. I really think Michelangelo is part of the reason that orange is my favorite color. Because <laughs> <laughs> orange is... I've always loved the color orange since I was a kid. And I think part of it was because he was my favorite Ninja Turtle. Mm -hmm. He influenced me. Yeah. But the orange on the front is not the right orange. And just like Raphael, you can stick the nunchucks in the back right there like that. You can see this. This is attached right there, but right there it's loose. So there he is with his thumbs up. That's pretty cool. But it'd be nice if he had a smiley face for that, though. Cowabunga! He's like super <laughs> pissed thumbs up. Yeah! Thumbs up! <laughs> Go Bunga! Now they come with some other accessories that aren't exactly specific for any of them. But they got the little pizza slice, which has a hole in it, which I'm guessing is for Raphael to stab through it with his side. <laughs> I don't know why else it would be there. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. <laughs> or you can just have them holding the pizza. Normally, so that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and they also come with a whole box of pizza, and you can see the pizza slice is missing. Well, that was a big slice they pulled out of there. It's stretched. Yeah, the pizza doesn't come out; it's kind of stuck in. Which is probably good because we'd fucking lose all of it. It's a weird pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds tasty. <laughs> and they also come with communicators. Some of them are open and some of them are closed. I think there's two of each. Yeah, that one's open and there's a closed one. I like the open one better. Yeah, me too. And they come with this like, like a little grappling hook or something. I forget what it does, but... It looks like oh, yeah. a little turtle CD player. <laughs> Definitely a grabbing hook. Grappling hook. I know what it's supposed to be. That's pretty cool. So here is the Shredder, and he's cool. I'm glad they made him. One of the main reasons I wanted to get the set was because of Shredder, because like that Playmates series. Like they really should have made a Shredder. They made the Ninja Turtles, Rocksteady, Bebop, and then they were supposed to make a Shredder in Krang, but they ended up getting canceled. Which sucks. But now we got this one, so that's cool. Mm-hmm. And they did a pretty good job on him. They still made him look like he does in the cartoon. So his metal doesn't look like it's painted a metal color. It looks more like how it did in the cartoon. Which is okay. I mean, I'd like to have a metal version too, but... I do, I do like the cartoonish style of them, though. It kind of reminds me of um, the Borderlands figures that I have. Yeah, they like painted the lines black and I stuff. really like that style. Um, one thing is, he's kind of stuck. Some of these figures are really tight. you got to loosen them up. His leg got a bunch of stiffies. You can see his legs kind of turned in. I can't get it. To, I probably have to heat it up and turn it. Hair dryer time. <laughs> but yeah, he's got a nice cape, and he comes with a katana, which looks a little more like a katana than Leonardo's. And he comes with alternate hands, obviously one to hold the katana and to hold other various things. I guess this hand is maybe to hold a communicator or let's make the peace sign. Or, yeah, or ninja poses or something. <laughs> and he come when there's a communicator, you can see Krang's face Be is on it. with that. I bent it, getting it out. I don't want it to break. There's you put the batteries in, I guess. And there's his little gun. I'm guessing that's his gun. I forget who uses this. It could be for one of the foot soldiers, but I'm just assuming it's Shredder's gun. Maybe it's Krang's gun. He doesn't have any arms. <laughs> And here's this little vial container, which I'm assuming is mutagen. But I thought you could see the mutagen, but I don't know, maybe not. So there he is holding his katana and the gun. 
which is cool. And there is Krang. Now, when the old figures came out, it always annoyed me that he came in this, because he wasn't in it that much. He was usually in that big, goofy body. So I had this one for the longest time. But for this set, I really like this, because they did an awesome job on it. Yeah, it looks cool. But yeah, there's a lot of detail on the thing. And he has removable arms, so you can make him come out of this thing when you stick him in there. I'm super drunk, so I tried to stick him in there with the arms on, and then was like, that doesn't fit. But you take his arms off when he's out of there, and then stick him back into his body. Or throw him on the floor. And then he could sit on his little stand, which he is often shown sitting on in the show. So, <laughs> that's very cool. And the stand stays on him pretty good, too. Well, it fits in there real tight. Mm -hmm. Now, there are the foot soldiers. And they come with two really cool guns. See, there's this one. Looks like a some kind of futuristic assault rifle. And then this one, which looks like... I forget what that one does. Shoots sonic rays, or I don't know what it does. <laughs> Lasers. To me, to me, it looks like you squeeze the trigger and it just goes honk, honk. <laughs> or it's a plunger. <laughs> I have to say, like, when we first heard about this set, I was really disappointed that it didn't come with uh, Bebop and Rocksteady, because I fucking love those two. But as much as I wish they would have come in this set, I really like these foot soldiers, and I think they did an excellent job on them. Me too. I mean, their faces are awesome. Are they the same face? Uh, it looks like they're the same face. Yeah. But that's okay. They, they're they pretty damn cool. I agree with that. There's a lot of detail on them, but we'll go over that in the next video. But they come with multiple accessories, like the two guns you can see. They come with alternate hands, like fists. They each have three sets of hands. They have karate chopping hands. And then, like, the gun holding hands. And the sword that we put in Shredder's hand could probably also just be used for them. Maybe it was even intended for them, I don't know. Because I know Shredder uses a sword sometimes. Maybe you can give them a sword. That's cool. Okay, so that's our basically our unboxing video. And we're going to have a video coming up soon, which will go over the figures more in depth with like looking at the paint, sculpt, and articulation. And, and it's probably going to be even longer than this one. <laughs> probably. <laughs> but so far, I think these figures are awesome. The gripes we have, I'd say, are pretty minor. Yeah, very minimal complaints about this. I mean, this it's fucking awesome. I'm so excited about this. Yeah, these are amazing figures. I think they're well worth the money. I was excited about the other Ninja Turtles we have, and I think these ones blow them out of the water. Yeah, I think the other ones are pretty cool in their own way, but these are pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. These are done really well. Well, this is Mr. Cheese. And I'm Zombie Cat. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Oh, damn it, man! You see them other pictures there? Why don't you click on one of them to see the video? Or you can subscribe, Nate! Oh.